of January 2020, we enjoyed a convenient and efficient urban life in Singapore. As the coronavirus spread around the world, Singapore government started to place more restrictions on social distancing, which eventually resulted in a statewide lockdown, as we call circuit breaker. As we all headed back home to work, four geophysicists, Elita, Yumin, Alex, and Gang, could not help wondering what is happening in Singapore during COVID-19 lockdown. Geophysicists have previously observed global quietness in urban vibrations during Christmas and New Year, as more and more countries went into lockdown mode after February 2020, another unusual quietness was observed. Stuck in our rooms, our interests were closer to home. We wondered what was happening at the National University of Singapore, our deserted workplace. We wondered whether the Malacca Strait would still bring food and medical supplies to us. We also wondered whether the open-air parks were visited by residents. To peek into these places, we installed vibration sensors at these locations. We extract information about traffic flow, truck activity, and render activities. Singapore entered strict lockdown from 7th of April 2020. All non-essential workplaces, including the U.S., were closed. We observed a significant traffic reduction by more than 60% out of the U.S. This restriction of movement lasted for two months. Thanks to the great compliance to the lockdown measures, number of community transmission cases were brought down to single digits quickly by 1st of June. In 2nd of June, the government decided to reopen the economy. Consequently, we observed a sharp 20% increase of traffic at the U.S. exit. 21st of June, Singapore entered its second phase of reopening. Because phase two opening started during the summer vacation, traffic activities gradually increased as the new school year started in August. Compare the traffic data with the community cases in Singapore until the end of August, we realized that the community cases kept decreasing as the economic activities picked up. By December 2020, the community transmission of COVID-19 was almost fully eliminated in Singapore. At the same time, ships kept coming in at our ports. Containers are unloaded from the ships, dispatched at the yard, and reloaded onto the trucks for local transport. Therefore, monitoring truck activity could tell us about the port activities. Truck traffic data, as we observed, showed a completely different characteristic as suggested by Google Mobility Report at general workplaces. As an essential workplace, activity at the general port maintained at a high level to supply food, energy, and medical supplies. During the second half of the lockdown, essential service load experienced an increase. Throughout the second half of 2020, importation sustained despite different regions around the world would under the impact of COVID-19. Finally, let's peek into our public recreational areas. In Singapore's circuit breaker, residents are allowed to exercise outdoor without wearing masks. Nonetheless, group exercises without proper distancing were not allowed. Therefore, an evaluation of the crowd in the open parks is very important. We identified runners using the vibration data. On weekdays, we observed two peak hours, 8 a.m. right after sunrise and 7 p.m. right before sunset. The evening peak is larger at 50 persons per hour, averaging a 120 interperson distance. Most of the weekday runners maintained their running habits after phase one and two openings. Even during lockdown, weekends were more popular for running. Weekend runners peaked at 85 persons per hour, averaging a 70-meter interperson distance. 
However, many weekend runners stopped running after lockdown. To be honest, Alex and Julita were among the ones too. I hope you enjoy the story of how four geophysicists confined in our rooms were able to peek into our workplace, our port, and our part using the vibration sensing data. Subscribe for more such studies by geophysicists. Click on the videos to learn how you can extract rich urban information from simple vibration sensing data.